I have the great privilege of giving out the Rudy Award for the best poster, which is not only an additional certificate, but a check for $1,000. So the award goes to, I'm supposed to tear this open, <laughs> getting ready for Sunday night, Christopher Schmidt Wedekin. The project that won the best poster award at the 2008 Research Expo is about hopping and stair climbing robots. So here's an example of, of a robot that we've built using mostly off-the-shelf parts and even some components from toys. Um, an interesting feature about this robot um, is that whether it's rolling in a horizontal or a vertical mode, uh, when it encounters an, an obstacle such as a steep stair or, or a ledge, which um, it's not able to overcome using its wheels, um, it's able to actually convert into a balancing rover of sorts using reaction wheel stabilization, which essentially means that when the wheels are not in contact with the ground, it pushes against these wheels, which are heavy because we've mounted the batteries on them, um, in order to keep from falling over in both planes. So it, during this entire process, we have a motor that is driving the center of mass high enough so that once we're at a certain point, we let gravity take over in order to, to allow the vehicle to overcome the obstacle. And in the case of stair climbing, we just repeat the maneuver end over end akin to an inverse slinkly, if you will, um, which would allow us to climb stairs in a very interesting way. No. This particular configuration of reaction wheels um, in combination with a unique hopping mechanism which we have uh, applied, which is patent pending, uh, allows us to perform some very interesting and dynamic maneuvers. For instance, we could be um, rolling in an upright state, encounter a, a long obstacle that we want to hop over, um, and simply use our forward speed combined with a hopping mechanism that is storing spring energy in order to hop up in the air and cross this obstacle. I think they like the simplicity with which we approach this problem. Namely, instead of adding a bunch of extra limbs and arms, we're just using what we have um, and adding some intelligence as far as balancing algorithms in order to make the most of uh, small number of components. The way IHOP balances is by pushing against its reaction wheels. Of course, in order to push the right way, we first need to know where we are in order to get where we want to go. The accelerometer gives us a measurement of where gravity is pointed. This is important, of course, because gravity is exactly what's trying to knock us over. So in addition to knowing where gravity is, we also have gyroscopes to measure how quickly we're falling over. Combining these two um, measurements allows us to very precisely uh, decide in what direction and how hard to force these reaction wheels in order to keep IHOP standing up straight. I think the, uh, the key motivation of this project has been to um, develop robots that can be sent into places where, it's, where you don't want to send people, where it's too dangerous which may lead to some very interesting new robotic designs for um, search and rescue, homeland security, and even fun and engaging toys.